Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how I like to clean my banana leaves. Usually you'll see other people run their banana leaves over an open flame to help wilt them and make them more pliable, but we're just going to be using some boiling water today. Without further ado, I will be opening my frozen leaves. Where we live, you're not gonna just be able to find a banana tree out in your backyard. So we buy the frozen kind from pretty much any Asian supermarket. They usually are huge. This is what I like to do. You take all of the leaves and then you put it in your sink. I already cleaned my sink the best I could and then I put the little plug in there because I'm going to fill it with boiling hot water. These were frozen, but I um, defrosted them overnight. If you're wondering why they're not very frozen looking, and I was just saying it's from the frozen food section. Okay, so I put it underneath and I'm gonna grab my hot water. So most of the leaves are now covered in the water and um, I leave it in the sink with the boiling water for a few minutes until some of the debris kind of lifts from the leaves. After a couple minutes, we can start putting some cooler water in there too, just so that it's safer for me to touch the leaves. So I'm gonna put some cool water. Now I just kind of lift the leaves one at a time to my drying station over here. Let it drip a little bit and then I'm moving it. So now that I've moved my huge banana leaf over to my drying station, I just start wiping down each side. So I'll start on this end and then I wipe along the frame. So this is so that we're wiping off any excess dirt that's on the leaf. As you can see, my paper towel is getting dirty. So this is the stuff we want off. And then I'm just gonna take it and flip it over. And we're just wiping, wiping, wiping. Okay. Then you wanna cut it into the sizes that you want. Let's start on this side. So we'll do maybe this big. You can cut them into any size you want or you can just leave them as long pieces. It depends on what you're using it for. If it splits a little, that's okay. They're still usable. So what I like to do is I cut these hard parts off. I save them because I use them to tie Suman together. So I like to keep these in a safe spot. Ta-da! Now actually be careful with these. <laughs> Bring out my plate and just stack them. And we're just gonna repeat this until we've done it with all of the banana leaves. This went through some storms. <laughs> I think we're just gonna get rid of that part. I'm not even sure. That looks like dirt. We're just going to get rid of it. It's all like bird poopy. <laughs> I wonder what kind of caterpillar ate through that. So we have our banana leaves ready to go. You can use them for suman, like what I'm gonna use them for today. And pretty much any dessert that requires a lining, you can use banana leaves. And then these parts right here, you could technically just throw them away if you're not gonna use them, but I like to use them as little ties because they're super strong. And we're all done, and it makes me feel so happy. Now that you're done cleaning your leaves, if you find that they're kind of stiff and not as pliable like these ones are, then you still can run them over fire to wilt them. But these ones, 
are gonna do just fine. Hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed, then you can hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you in the next one.